OCAP is the ongoing assessment project and it's a professional development piece that has four strands related to mathematical understanding. So there's an additive, multiplicative, fractions, and proportional strands that teachers can participate in. The training is based in the math ed research. So what do we know about how kids learn math? Formative assessment is a huge component of OGAP. So that is an ability for us to look at what students are doing where their mathematical understanding is and to respond to it quickly. So the next day, what's my instruction going to look like based on the evidence I see in student work? OGAP is a game changer. When we were in school, we learned how to divide with the standard U.S. algorithm and multiply with the standard U.S. algorithm. There are other ways to do it that kids respond to much better. Parents may call it new math, but the way our children's brains work, they understand it a little better. They can picture it, they can see it. There's a model that they can look at and they understand what's happening with the fraction. They understand what a fraction is. Kids who feel like they cannot multiply and divide, all of a sudden realize they can and it's easy for them. And it boosts their confidence and they get to feel successful when before maybe they didn't. My biggest takeaway from OGAP training was how important it is to instill number sense in my students. So definitely came back teaching the children how to anchor to five, anchor to 10, working on a lot of number sense, lots of questioning. So using the Montessori materials, but diving in deeper to give a really rich understanding of what they're doing. It made me a better mathematician. It empowered me because I never thought about multiple access points in ways to solve things. So in my training, I learned to make these really great posters to show all of our thinking. That comes into my classroom too. So as my kids are able to show their different thinking, we can anchor that and then they can see and that's something that becomes a living artifact for them to go back to. Those artifacts come back into play when they're able to show me in problem solving in tasks and and how that they're able to manipulate the information that works for them with the tools and the strategies that we're using with things like number lines and area models. My teacher helps me learn how that, just because you don't know how to do multiplication or division, there's a whole bunch of strategies and multiplication problems and um, other ways. And, She'll give us like apps so we can like practice the, the problems. OGAP provides critical content knowledge for teachers. They deserve really high quality professional development. It's not enough for us to ask our teachers to teach the students now the way they were taught. Math education has changed and OGAP is really providing teachers with the knowledge of what we know now about the brain and math pedagogy and how to incorporate that in the classroom. This is particularly impactful for Montessori teachers because they now have access to new strategies, models, and the math education research that they get to connect to the Montessori materials that are really important to their pedagogical practices and philosophy. I like choosing my own strategy in math because it just helps me understand better than using other person's idea. Well, models help me like visualize what I'm trying to figure out. Like if you go like try and do it all in your head, like see five times five, you could count on your fingers. Well, also you might skip something. So it's better to see what you're doing instead of like think what you're doing. As a facilitator for OGAP, one of my favorite things is when your teachers come back and they don't even quite know what they're going into and they come back and they'll say things like, that was life changing or that was profound. There's energy and enthusiasm and excitement about what they're doing. And then just as an adult and a human, I, I sit there when I'm teaching math or when I'm working with adults and I wonder, you know, what would we all be doing if we had been given this level of access to math? How different would it be for us? And that I feel like is our charge for our kids. OGAP is not a curriculum. They're not lessons. You don't flip to week one and week two and give the unit test. It is professional development in mathematics based on best practices and research. And when you go to OGAP, you walk out and you have that confidence and that understanding and that ability to really understand how the brain learns math. 
and then offer that to your kids.